welcome to the lesson time it's going to be an amazing time of learning for all of us it's not just for this week it's going to be this year long we're going to learn from the beautiful book of Joshua victorious book and also from the book of Judges and the beautiful story of Ruth so please join in every week do not miss this entire year God bless you Hello my dear children, how are you all? It's such a joy to meet all of you through this 21st week of online Sunday school. Christmas is around the corner and the entire world is waiting eagerly to celebrate the birth of Jesus. I'm waiting eagerly too. Are you also? So let me take this time to wish all of you a Merry Christmas. Okay, so let's get into today's lesson. Do you all remember what we learned in the last class? That's right. We learned how Isaac and Rebecca were blessed with two beautiful boys. They were blessed with twins. The first son's name was Esau and the second son's name was Jacob. Okay, so we've learned till this. So let's see what happens in the life of Esau and Jacob today. In olden days, there was a very important custom called birthright. Do you know what this birthright means? This birthright means the firstborn of the family would be inheriting double the amount of the property of what the younger sons would get. That is, if a, man, if a father is a very wealthy man, when the father dies, he might have many number of sons, he might have many sons. So among them, the firstborn son would be getting double the portion of the property of what the other sons would be getting. This is a very special blessing from God. This special blessing is called birthright. Okay, so who will get this birthright? The first son. So in our story, there are two sons. The first son is Esau and the second son is Jacob. So Esau is entitled with this special blessing called birthright. Okay, now let's get into the story. Okay, so as I said, the uh, the two boys, Esau and Jacob, they both grew older and Esau, he became a very skillful hunter. Do you know what hunters do? Can you see there's a hunter over here? He has a bow and an arrow. Okay, so what hunters do? They go to the forest, they look out for any animal that they find and then they shoot Nowadays, they shoot the animals with a gun. But in olden days, they used to have this thing called a bow and an arrow. So using this, they would shoot the arrow towards where the animal is. This arrow would go, it would hit the animal and it would kill the animal. And then they would take the animal and come back home. They would cook delicious meal with that and they would enjoy. So this is what the hunters do. And... Esau was a very skillful hunter. So you can imagine if he go, if Esau goes for hunting, he's sure to carry so many animals back home. Okay, so he was a skillful hunter and with the, with the animal that he's hunted, he used to cook delicious meal and he used to give it to his family. So Esau's father, Isaac. Isaac loved Esau more. Now, let's see who the second son was. The second son was Jacob, right? So Jacob was not like Esau. He didn't want to go to the fields for hunting. He preferred staying in his tent. So he, he always, uh, maybe he spent a lot of time with his mother when he was at tent. So the mother Rebecca loved Jacob more. So this was how the two boys of Isaac and Rebecca were growing up. One day, uh, Jacob was cooking, was preparing a soup, a stew at his house. At that time, Esau, the firstborn of Isaac, he comes back home from hunting. He was very tired, he was very tired and weary. Maybe uh, we don't know how long he, he was hunting. So hunting was not a very easy job, right? It's not just you just go sit and come. He has to run a lot behind the animals. So he was very tired that day. So he was very tired and hungry and he was very weary. So he came back home. When he comes back home, Esau saw Jacob preparing a soup. So he was, since he was very hungry, he wanted to have some of it. 
So Esau asks Jacob, Jacob, please give me some of the soup that you're preparing. Okay. And do you know what Jacob said for that? Jacob said, okay, I give you soup if you want. But you have to give me something in return. And what was that? Jacob demanded the birthright of Esau. Wow, such a great thing Jacob wants from Esau for a single meal. Okay, what would you have done if, if you, you were in Esau's condition? Let's think about that. Now, let's see what Esau does. Do you know what Esau says to Jacob? Esau says, what good is it for me to have this birthright if I'm going to die by starving? Such a foolish decision. He says, if I die, what will I have? What will I do with the birthright? I'm in need of food right now. I'm starving. So give me the food, give me the food right now, he's saying. Esau did, took such a foolish and a quick decision to give away the special blessing from God for just a single meal. It was a very foolish decision. And then Jacob says, okay, I'll give you, but before that you have to promise me. All the kids say, no, okay, promise, promise, you're saying that you will do this, promise me that you will do this for sure. So the same way, Isaac, he asks Esau to promise that Esau will sell away, will give away this birthright to Jacob. And Esau did that too. Esau promised to give away all the special blessings that he would be getting as part of birthright to Esau. Do you know for what? In return for Jacob giving him a single meal. He promised it. And then Jacob gave Esau some bread and some soup to drink, to eat and drink. So he had it, he took the bread, he had the soup and he had it heartily and then he, he just went off. What was the price for that bread and for the soup? It was a special precious birthright. So he gave that off to Jacob for a single meal. Okay. Now, let's take some time to analyze. Let's take some time to think about uh, what about the story that we've learned. The first thing, we see that Jacob had a strong desire for God's blessing. Jacob was the second son of Isaac. He was not, and though they were twins, though Jacob was born just the seconds after Esau, Jacob was still the second born. So Esau was entitled for the birthright and not Jacob. But still Jacob had in his heart that he wanted the special blessing from God. He always had the desire to get the blessings from God. He was always looking for chances when he can get the blessing from God, when he can get the special blessing of birthright. So when he got the chance, he did not miss that. He made use of that and he immediately got the blessing from Esau. In our life, we should also be having a desire for God's blessing. We should not neglect, neglect this God's blessing. Number two, this Esau, he made a very foolish decision, right? Just for a single meal, he was willing to give away or he just gave away such a precious blessing. We should be careful in decision making. We should not make a foolish or a quick decision. We should always be thoughtful about the decision that we make. Is the food that he got, is that comparable to such a great blessing? No, in no way. The same way in our lives as well. Whenever we make decision, whenever we make a choice, we should be careful. Is it worth it? We should think about that. And we should keep despised. He did not regard, he did not give importance to the birthright. He, he just thought, okay, it's just a birthright. He did not regard the birthright. That's why he just gave it away. We should always think, we should always respect, we should always give importance to the blessings that God has given us. We should always 
regard it with high honor then only we'll be able to make right decisions in our life okay we've learned so many things from the lives of jacob and esau today shall we look to the lord in prayer shall we ask him for his help so that we'll be able to make right decision in our life let's not make any foolish decision let's always make right decision and let's always have the craving for god's blessing let's pray our father we come into your presence we want to thank you for every blessings that you've given us you have blessed us with so many so many things let's always consider all the blessings from you as important as special let's not despise the blessing that you've given us let's always have the craving for your blessings and let's always be wise in making decisions let's not make any foolish decision in jesus name we pray amen okay children so today's memory verse is taken from proverbs chapter 21 and verse 5 the plans of the diligent lead to profit as surely as haste leads to poverty okay so this is a memory verse for today please do learn it okay so now it's the important time the activity time let me read out the activity questions for you before that the link to the activity is updated in the description below please do download it from the uh, from the description and complete the activity send it back to us at the the way bible school at gmail.com there are many interesting activities so please don't miss it okay so let me read out the questions for you the first one which son like to hunt okay so isaac had two sons so which of those sons the first one or the second one who like to hunt question number 2 which son stayed in the tents question number 3 which son did isaac love the most number 4 which son did rebecca love the most so isaac had a favorite son as well as rebecca also had a favorite son so those are the answers what did esau want from jacob what did jacob want from esau okay so these are the questions for which you have to write down the answers and the next one is color the picture activity so there's a picture of jacob preparing the soup and esau go esau going and asking for the soup so you have to color the picture the next one draw what you think was inside the soup that jacob had made okay the soup looked very special right that's why uh, esau without even asking his mother to prepare something he insisted on that soup okay so now use your creativity and think what you think was inside the soup that jacob was making and you can draw the picture the next one esau was willing to sell his long term benefits for short term pleasure we may see what esau esau did and think he is very foolish but many people do the same today they don't want to follow jesus because they want to have fun in their life have miss out to have fun in in this life sorry because they miss out but they miss out and in esau was willing to sell his long term benefits for short term pleasure we may think what esau did and think he is very foolish but many people do the same today they don't want to follow jesus because they want to have fun in their life but they miss out an eternal life in heaven many people make so many foolish choices that make them happy now so here you have to list down some of the bad choices that people make so let me give you an example drinking so much comes up now and getting sick later okay that's right right your parents must have told you you're not supposed to drink so much of soft drinks but you continue to drink it but that's not good for your health it will affect you later so the choices that you make it affects your future so you have to list down some of the choices that that people make now to make them happy but that are not good okay so the last activity sometimes the things we do make god sad but it makes us happy for that moment 
we need to make sure everything we do makes God happy. Put smileys under me or God to see which action makes God happy or sad. So there are a list of actions given. Some of it will make only you happy. Some will make God happy. So you have to put smileys under God or me. Lying about being sick so I can bunk school. Who will be happy with this? The next one. Stealing money so I can buy a toy. Number three. Waiting patiently till mom and dad gives me a toy. Number four. Running away from home when I feel sad. The next one. Trusting God and praying even when I am sad. The next one. Getting angry when it seems like other kids have more toys. Thanking God that I have food to eat and clothes to wear. Not coming when my mom calls because I am busy. Breaking my toys because I don't care if they are broken or not. Being careless with my books and bending the pages. The last one, being careful with all my things and thanking God for them. So here there are so many things that are given. Maybe most of them, most of them are the things that you do often, right? Okay. So here you have to you have to put smileys for the things which will make you happy under me section, which you think will make God happy. You have to put a smiley under the God section. Okay. So these are the activities that you have to do. Please do complete the activity and send back the completed worksheets to us. Okay, my dear children, I hope you have learnt a valuable lesson today. Let's meet once again on the next week. Until then, bye-bye. Children, hope you've enjoyed the class. If you have any special talents, please take a video of yourselves and make sure that it is in landscape mode. Also, complete your worksheets and email us at thewaybibleschool at gmail.com. I hope you enjoyed the classes. Children, it's time to say bye now. Bye. Take care. God bless you all.